Okay, hello and welcome back to Floor Food, my floor kitchen. Today we're going to make vegan sushi rolls. So, start with this is about three fourths a cup of sushi rice and it's leaking. I've already rinsed it. Make sure you rinse it really well. One time I didn't rinse it enough and it was disgusting. So, we're gonna add that to our rice cooker. enough water just to barely cover it. That's too much water, it's okay. You can pour some of your water out carefully. Every chef makes mistakes. That's okay. Yeah, that's a good ratio. Put the lid on our rice cooker and it's not on. And it's cooking. Awesome. So that cooks for about 15 minutes. Hello. Next, we're going to shred up whatever vegetables you want to put in your sushi. I'm going to do some carrots and a cucumber. We could also do like sweet potato or lettuce or avocado or something. So, you just take a cheese grater like this and I'm just gonna grate our vegetables right up on this plate here. All right, looks like I'm only really gonna need one carrot. All right, then we take our cucumber. I swear, every time I buy cucumbers, I can never eat them. They always go bad before I eat it all. I'm gonna shred that up as well. All right, yep, that's plenty of cucumber. All right, and perfect. We have our shredded cucumber and our shredded carrot. And the rice is cooking. Okay, and to make it good sushi rice, you need to add about for how much we're making, three quarters of a cup of rice, you need about two tablespoons of rice vinegar. And then a teaspoon of just regular sugar. And a little bit of salt, probably like a quarter teaspoon. together on our tiny little pot with our tiny little flame. Let that dissolve. <sighs> okay, our rice is almost done. Just gonna check up on it. And yep, it just finished. Ooh, that's steamy. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it so it doesn't continue to cook. And I'm gonna add our Rice, vinegar, sugar, olive oil mixture. I'm gonna actually take it off the heat here. And it's that um, rice vinegar, the sugar, this mixture, that's what really makes it taste like that sweet, good sushi rice. And making sure you rinse it. Otherwise, ooh, I did it one time without doing those steps. <laughs> I didn't want to eat sushi for like months. And I'm just like mixing it up and making sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. It should probably have enough here for like three or four rolls. Because I am uh, really hungry. <laughs> so this is what our sushi looks like. Very nice, very nice. Okay, hi. Now that our sushi rice has chilled a little bit, we're going to roll our sushi. You need nori sheets. You get things at most grocery stores. I don't know about Walmart. Um, I went to like a health food store to get them because my grocery store is actually out of them. So we're gonna make our first one. Layer sheet down. Open hair on your sushi. And make your sushi rice. 
And make sure you have one of these. It's really, it really makes it easier. And you're just gonna spread it. Then you take your desired veggies. And then carefully take it and roll it up like a burrito. And there you go, delicious sushi. Now we're going to enjoy our delicious floor sushi. Let's get a bite here. Mm, perfect. And way cheaper than buying it and you need to make as much as you want. And my cat is back. Hello Lola. So yeah, please guys don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video if you liked it. Hopefully I'll be coming at you with some more food floor food making videos. I'm gonna dip this in some soy sauce I have over here. Oh shit, I got on my couch. Oh shit, everything's falling apart. Oh shit, that's gonna stain. All right, subscribe for some more shitty videos. Thank you guys.